Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria's Miscellany, where in this video I am sharing with you my iCADs. I'm trying to catch up on my index card a day, or as Mary, the Mary Atelier likes to say, an index card any day, because I certainly have gotten behind. <laughs> um, if you've been following me, you will know that this is the last little index card that I did. It was for June 13th. So yeah, I'm very, very behind, uh, but I really love how this cute little uh, index card came out. So um, yeah, I'm gonna see, uh, show you what I have done to try to catch up last night while hubby was watching a movie. Oh, well, I was watching, kind of half watching too. I was trying to catch up on my eyes and look at all the ones I made. So yay. But before I do that, I want to show you this too. I picked up this little tin at Goodwill for 69 cents. So I didn't finish taking the tag out and I totally love it now I don't necessarily collect tins but I just could not leave this one for 69 cents is it adorable or what um, right now I also I have my double-sided tape in here which I also picked up there at the Goodwill for 99 cents so I think two uh, of these spools of tape are awesome for 99 cents so that's my quick little thrift haul there <laughs> so there you go all right, so I'm just going to go really quickly through these. Um, and again, they're not very elaborate or fancy because I was just trying to catch up while still trying to just, you know, do something that I liked. So for number 14, I, did, I used um, a card, a greeting card that I had gotten in Happy Mail. Um, actually, it was a part of a swap from the Newbie Junk Journal Makers Group. Uh, lovely Dawn Tunis sent me uh, some beautiful ATC coins and the little card that she wrote to me was this in the background here so I just took that um, put this little Tim Holtz uh, card on top kind of you know sideways or askew and a couple of washies and I just I, I inked it all and I really like how that came out it was super simple but I really like it and it's a good reminder for me to document the everyday uh, instead of just waiting for the special moments you know every day can have special moments so there is iCAD number 14 okay then iCAD number 15 I did this all last night guys um, I really love this one I actually use this background tissue paper is taken from work okay so you know the rolls of tissue paper uh yes toilet tissue um at work you know the spare ones are wrapped in this paper and when it was my turn to you know change it over <laughs> i just kept it because i just these are so beautiful and look i still have plenty left to do some more crafting with it so you know just kind of look at everything twice before throwing it out but look how pretty that came out in the background. And that I cut out of a journaling card. And this is just a little sticker that I got at Dollar General. And these little bees are on the washi tape there from the Dollar Tree and some other washies back there. Super simple, inked up all around. And that is iCAD number 15. Then iCAD number 16 is even simpler <laughs> um, in another happy mail I had received uh, from the um, junk journal with joy group um, I got uh, from Lynn Lingle I believe was her name uh, I got a beautiful little uh, folio and I don't have it handy otherwise I'd show it to you but she had done stamping like you know random stamping on on cards and stuff and I loved that look so I thought I would try it so she definitely inspired me with that so I took a couple of stamps that I liked that I hadn't really used a lot of like this circle stamp and the balloons and these are all part of the same set and I just kind of stamped all over the index card and I like how it came out and then I layered it on top with uh, <coughs> excuse me some stenciling I stenciled those birds on top and then I tried another stamp that says friend but you can't really read it uh, because of you know that dark piece from the balloon so um, yeah and I also like that little ruler thing so I didn't want to do much else to it I wanted to remember this technique and um, so that is iCAD number 16 okay now for 17 I did a little collaging, just took a, my little box of scraps um, that I keep on my desk or near my desk, and I just collaged around the index card. 
and I took um, a sticker from the Dollar Tree, the little unicorn that says Believe in Magic, that I kind of thought brought some of those colors together, and I just used this as a focal point, inked around, and that is that. And that is iCAD number 17, simple, but again, I like it. I mean, I like each one of these. They're different. Some of them look a lot simpler than others, but they all have their special charm, you know? So that's number 17. Number 18. Whew. Now, I did not get totally cut up, but I did make a big dent. It was another collage. And what I did with this collage is I put some of that white napkin that you take off of the back of the pretty napkins, and I layered it on top. I've used that technique to make a a journal cover and some other things and I really liked it so I thought why not try it on a little eye cat and um, this is the, the hearts there's actually a piece of ribbon um, and then some more little just random bits so that is all collaged the paper on top also you know mutes down the colors and it also brings it um, kind of keeps it all together and then I stamped on top this little stamp that I got in a bag uh, uh, thrifting it says, there's no place like a spot in someone's heart. And it is a quote by a young man, Luke Stone, age 12. And um, I just found that stamp in uh, at the thrift store. So I used that. And that was 18. Now for iCAD number 19, I'm almost done. I did something, is that it? Nope, sorry. I did something similar. I collaged around, but this time instead of covering it with the white paper, I covered it with some pattern paper. Um, pattern paper that was clear, you know, it had not a lot of um, design on it or anything. Actually, I don't think it had any uh, lines or anything on it. And so, if you can see, you can see the collaging behind the pattern paper. And then I took some stamps and I just put them all around. I really like how that came up. That center stamp is part of a, a, a Bible journaling set, and it says, Peace be with you. And then the other ones are just little flowers there. And, and then I inked it all around, and again, I like how that came out. It's kind of mixing a couple of techniques that I'm playing with and learning recently. That was iCAD 19. iCAD 20, again, I used a piece of pattern paper, and this had that little bit... Um, written on it um under it uh, on the card i did again some crazy stamping you know one on top of the other but with colored ink there's some pink ink and green ink and uh, and dark yellow ink and so i did that on the card and then i put the pattern paper on top i did this is the same front stamp that was on the other card but this time it came out nicer and i used a, a kind of like a red ink on it I love how sharp the flowers came out. Isn't that pretty? So I put that on top and I kind of put it to the side because this kind of, I think, balanced it out. So um, I thought about adding something else to it, but you know what? I just left it like this. I inked around the edges and yeah, again, trying out a couple of new techniques for me. And that was iCAD number 20. Almost done. iCAD 21. What did I do here? Oh. Maybe I was getting tired. I don't know. Super simple here. This is just washi tape all across the card. And then I found a sticker that um, I just thought said something that I liked. It said, what a fantastic, lovely, wonderful day. And any day that you are crafting and having fun with that is a wonderful crafting day. So um, there's washi over there. And pardon the talking behind me. I'm, I'm almost done. I'm almost done, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So basically, just really washi tape and a sticker. And look how cute that came out for iCAD number 21. And the last one I was able to do before conking out was iCAD number 22. And again, super -de duper simple. This was a background scrapbooking paper um, that I picked up, uh, again, thrifting. This sticker, this is a Susan Branch set. The, the scrapbooking paper and the stickers were Susan Branch. And I just put them on this card and then these stickers were from the Dollar General. It says play and have fun. And I thought, you know, little kitties and puppies speak fun to me. And I didn't ink this or anything because there was a lot of white. I just left it like that, super simple. Literally just glued this 
background to the index card and put the stickers on it. That was it. But I like how it came out. I mean, simple but cute. And I fulfilled another day of index cards. So today is the 26th. So now I'm only four days behind. And considering I did what? like a dozen <laughs> in one night, I think I will be able to get caught up. So let me know which one was your favorite. I'm just going to kind of lay them all out here. And um, if there are any techniques that I shared that you would like me to, you know, do a video on, I mean, I am just learning all these myself and uh, a lot of the inspiration I've drawn from others. Uh, but I'd be glad to share, you know, what I'm learning with you. So let me know if you want me to share any of these. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for visiting. Um, while I try to get caught up on my index card a day, uh, have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye-bye.